I participated in back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back seasons of the Draft Premier League. Highly touted as the most competitive draft league team tournament or tournament in general in the entire community. And in the middle season of the three, season six for me, our team, Wings of Wrath, won the whole thing. And my game was the deciding game. It was the tiebreaker to the tiebreaker games for the finals. It's a best of eight. And if you tie four, four, you have to play three more games again. Uh, and then we went one and one. And then I won the last game. That season, I got MVP. However, with every great team comes great leadership. And Wings of Wrath was led by Rai and Sean, who to this day are still considered one of the best captain duos across all of Pokemon Draft League. And this week in the TGS, we are taking on one of the two captains, Sean, AKA High Jump Sean, and his Long Beach Nincada, who in my opinion, has the strongest draft out of the 12 coaches. Don't believe me? Well, here's our week two matchup. So looking at Sean's team, has got great speed with Tornadus, uh, Treads with Booster, has got Mean Shao, normally Rock Scarf, right? And a lot of really good mid-tier speed, right? You got the, all that 85 to, to 90 range with the, the Rotom, the Dragonite, the Sarah Ledge, the Deoxys Defense, even the Rev of Room, right? And then the Overquill. So he, he plays a lot in that 85 to 90 range. And if you get too caught up in that, you get kind of destroyed by the Scarfers and, and the Setup Sweepers and just the, the booster treads and whatever, right? So you can't focus too much on the fact that he has a lot of base 85 mons here. And I'd be lying if I said that Sean didn't have the best Terra Captain pairing in the league. Sarah Ledge and Rev of Room are very, very scary. Rev of Room on its own can just get up a shift gear and sweep you because it can turn into any Terra. And Sarah Ledge can do the same except with Swords Dance or Bulk Up or Endure with Weak Armor. Like there's way too many sets. Mons that are scariest for me in this matchup are the Sarah Ledge, the Dragonite, and even to an extent the Mean Shao. Now you'll see at the bottom of the screen that I don't expect the Mean Shao to come. That's because I do feel like Deoxys Defense does have to come here to a certain extent. There is a Great Tusk, there is an Iron Boulder on my team, and Dio does handle those pretty well. If it wants to go the more specially defensive route, it can handle the Raikou, it can handle possibly like an offensive Moltres or a Chalodon. So I can definitely see the Deoxys defense coming. It's kind of the sixth slot is between DOD and Mean Shao. So let's go over what we're bringing for Sean this week. So first mount on the team, as you can see under me is gonna be the Iron Boulder with the Booster Energy, Quark Drive, Mighty Cleave, Zen Headbutt, Taunt, and Swords Dance. So I EV'd this thing to be able to take on the Deoxys after Rocks, I believe. I think I don't die to three Nightshades or something like that. And I can just set up on it multiple times. Uh, the one thing that Sean's team does struggle with a little bit is the priority side of things. Like there is the D-Knight and there is the Sarah Ledge. Uh, obviously the Sarah Ledge can tear a ghost and shadow stink me and just completely destroy me. I'm hoping to deal with the Sarah Ledge early if it does come. And that's that's just what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to deal with Sarah Ledge early, get it out of the way, and then his priority is only E-Speed. So we set up Iron Boulder and we can pretty much sweep through the whole team. You might be questioning why I don't have Sacred Sword on here when there's an Iron Treads. Well, Iron Treads is normally a lead in this matchup from what I've seen. It does get weak quite easily and quite quickly so I didn't feel the need to have the sacred sword on here and I felt like taunt was going to be a lot more valuable especially into Deoxys defense and even possibly Rotom wash and stop it from will-o-wisping or whatever so pretty straightforward set but I do think it's quite effective in the end game I have to find a spot to put the Terra typing for the Terramons on the team because this is actually quite important both our Terramons are coming this week and both can Terra very easily depending on how the game proceeds so our Chaladon this week is going to be Terra Fairy why Terra Fairy First off, it deals with the Dragonite and the Mean Shao a little bit better. I need a check into those guys, and I have Dragon Pulse and Foul Play, and Foul Play is actually really good into the Sarah Ledge as well, and I saw Terra fight Sarah Ledge, and I saw Terra Ghost, I saw a few different types of Terras, but I would say that the scariest one was fighting, especially if I stayed a type weak to it. And as you can see, we're not rocking any Fizz Def here. We are mainly specially defensive, but our Chalanon can definitely still take a plus two hit from the Sarah Ledge. Terra Ghost, Poltergeist might kill. Uh, it depends on his investment, but he's definitely dead to foul play if we do live. Dragon Pulse is just really nice overall damage across his team, and Body Press covers the Iron Treads, which of course the... Dragon Pulse doesn't hit. Body Press also hits the Rev of Room decently hard. And this is also a decent check to Low Kicks if for whatever reason he decides to bring that. I don't think it's that great into my team, but obviously with Boulder being a 
finisher in this matchup. First impression could definitely be something that he wants to bring or even Sucker Punch. And last move, Rocks. I believe the speed on the Archeladon is to cover specifically what I think his Serilege and his Dragonite are going to hit in terms of speed. Mainly the Dragonite, if it decides to go plus one with Dragon Dance and try to be faster than Boulder, I think that's what I covered. Obviously, Dragon Pulse and Foul Play are really good into that, and Terra Fairy even more so. Moving along, the next mon on the team is going to be Great Tusk. And you do see that correctly, we are an Assault Vest near Max Spidef set. So this mon is actually meant to take on Special Treads because I expect Special Treads to come. It also eats the hell out of Dragonite's Tecton Hurricane and can just Ice Spinner it and destroy it. We hit 230 speed just to make sure that we can like outspeed Rotom and Deoxys defense potentially. Not really anything else here. I guess maybe a fatter Serilege as well. That was kind of taken into consideration. And just very basic coverage. Earthquake, Knockoff, Ice Spinner, and Rapid Spin. You guys can figure out just by looking at the matchup what all these moves are for. Not much more to say. Next up is our Weezing. Now, Weezing is Spidef as well. And once again, I think that this is a really good check into uh, the D Knight specifically because I have Levitate, can't hit me with Earthquake. If it wants to run Iron Head, sure, go right ahead. Toxic is really good into the team as a whole. Flamethrower covers the treads, which is the only thing that can't be toxic other, th other than the Reveruma, obviously, or like Terra Poison on the Serra Ledge or Steel. But I fully do not expect Terra Steel on the Serra Ledge. I think that that's quite weak into me, especially when I have a Great Tusk, which is normally the physical check to Serra Ledge. So I think the set works here. I think Clear Smog is really nice for the Serra Ledge, not let it get out of control. Well, and Pain Split just keeps us alive longer. I think it's quite good here. And I eat hits from like defensive Rotom. I, I eat Hydro Pumps. I eat Volt Switches. I even eat Hurricanes from the Dragonite. So uh, it's quite nice to have. It can even switch in on like Deoxys Defense uh, if it's not going for a Psychic move. And it can probably stay in once or twice on the Tornadus. So it can get off Toxic. It can spread status. And we really have to weaken Sean's team throughout the game. Next up, now this one's going to look weird. <laughs> All right. This is Lumberry Greninja Protean with Trailblaze, Acrobatics, Ice Punch, and Swords Dance. So we've got 252 Adamant, we've got 124 Speed, and we got 132 in Defense. So this thing can take a hit from Sarah Ledge, and I want it to be able to take hits a little bit better. That's why the defense is there, and it's not an HP because you get more out of putting something in defense uh, when you're trying to focus on defense, and you don't really care about the Spit F. I don't care about the Spit F. Why? So Greninja's main check in this matchup should be Rotom. At all times, it should be Rotom. If it's not Rotom, I don't see what else really comes as a check, except for maybe Assault Vest Mean Shao. And that is why we are the set that we are. So Trailblaze allows me to catch the Rotom on the switch in. If it's Citrus, I can proceed to Swords Dance. And because I have a Lumberry, it does not matter what status move it clicks, it will die to the next Trailblaze because I cleared the status with the Lumberry. That is the idea here. That is the only Rotom I can really think of that is like truly threatening to me. And it should be the primary switch into Greninja. It should be a, a Spadef Rotom trying to cover for like Life Orb or, or Specs Gren to keep it from getting out of control, right? Could even see light screen on the set potentially. And heavy debate over acrobatics versus like liquidation on this set. Liquidation does hit more of the team more neutrally across, but I'm like paranoid about Mean Shao. And I think that Acro might be good enough. Like if he brings Rev of Room, it's bad because I do need something to hit it and I don't have anything to hit it. And it's it can just get out of control and my Gren can't do anything to it. But the rest of the team, the rest of this, the team, this thing covers great, right? It's got Ice Punch for the Treads, the, the Torn and the Dragonite. And then just Acro hits everything that isn't the Rotom other than the Rev of Room. <laughs> Think maybe I should go water move over acro. Don't know. We'll see. And finally, the last mon on the team and the mon that is more likely to Terra in this game is actually going to be Terra Electric Raikou. Now you may be saying, why Terra Electric? Well, Treads is not a sturdy electric switch in when the electric can hit it super effectively. And because Raikou has Scald, which is really good into the team, if you like D Knight and Sarah Ledge do not want to come in on Scald. I'd say the Mon that is more likely to come in on Scald or Thunderbolt or anything from Raikou is actually going to be the Deoxys. If I were to turn into any type that isn't electric, Dio can paralyze me with Thunder Wave. But because I am electric and I get the extra little stab boost, the, the life orb boost from Terrastalizing into an electric type, Terra plus one Thunderbolt 
actually two hit KO is Deoxys defense. And it's very hard for Sean, if he doesn't have Scarf or Booster on the treads to stop this. We're just rocking a leftover set so that we can deal with the Deoxys a little bit better, set up on it more long term. And then if I feel like just knocking out the Deoxys defense, I can just click Terra Electric and T-Bolt. If I feel like our Chaladon's Terra is not as valuable in the game. So I do think we're going to see Terra Electric from the Raikou during the game, as opposed to Terra Fairy on the Archaladon. I could be wrong, but it's just, it's, it's a gut feeling. So with all that said, let's hop right into the game. All right, it is cold as hell in here, and uh, that's why I'm wearing a sweater. And I'm probably going to lose, so let's get to it. Let's get this game on the road. Let's see what Sean is going to bring for us today. All right, we're in, and uh, I see two poison types that I did not see in Mox. What the hell is this team? <laughs> what is going on? What am I in for here? I'm going to get owned, aren't I? <laughs> this is going to be so funny. All right, so that being said... Uh, there is the Rotom. My Gren is terrible here because he brought both poison types. Uh, Raikou looks insane. That looks good. Um, we will say that. So there's no Sarah Ledge, which is interesting, which means his Terramon is definitely this Terra Water Rev of Room. So Raikou looks even better. Uh, and then there is the Overquill. Okay, so with that said, I think my priority has to be rocks, right? Like it has to be. Yeah. All right, so he leads with the Rotom, that's good. We lead Arch, uh, and we are just gonna go for Rocks. No worrying about this, it could trick me, uh, but then it doesn't have a choice that name anymore, which is actually kind of good. Um, and like, if I can deal with the poison types, Gren actually goes Berzingo. So, uh, we are a physical Gren, of course. Here go the Rocks, we do see a Volt Switch, and that is going to proc my stamina. Uh, let's see what he brings in here. Now, this Terra type is not as good as Raikou's Terra type here. So I'm actually glad that I brought Terra Electric over Terra Ice. He didn't bring the D-Knight. He didn't bring the Serral Edge. I don't understand. There's no Mean Shao. What is this team, Sean? What are, what's about to happen to me? Because <laughs> I'm scared. I'm not too scared of Overquill. T-Spikes are a little annoying, obviously, because my Weezing's off the ground, so I'd have to spin them with my Tusk and get it poisoned. And I am AV, so uh, not great. His treads, if special, can't actually deal with Tusk too well. And if it's physical, then it can't really deal with this. Uh, in comes DoD. Moments I wish I was still Dark Pulse. That's probably fine. I think Weezing's okay. Gren's also okay here. Uh, I don't really want to catch a Thunder Wave is the only thing. Also, this can just be pure setup. I don't need Weezing as much in this game. Simply because he is, uh, he has no Serral Edge and no Dragonite, so I'm gonna go hard wheezing on the Deoxys. I know this uh, this looks really weird, because uh, it's a Poison type switching into a Psychic type, but if I'm correct, one, he's going for Hazards here. Uh, two, I need to get a Toxic off on this thing. Uh, so he does get, go for Thunder Wave, interestingly enough. Um, and I think you'd be Hazards on this. Maybe not, though. I do want to start knocking items as soon as possible, but I am going to attempt to go for a Toxic here. Tusk can come in on Rev of Room and Overquill pretty safely because it is, of course, AV. Now, this thing's Terra Water, so it has Terra Blast, so it can shift gear into Terra Blast and be really annoying. Uh, I think it gets a ground move as well for Raikou. And of course, it's going to have a steel move for Weezing. So the ground move is going to cover our Chaladon, obviously. I don't think he actually brings a poison move to this battle. So I think Arch is free to Terra in front of the Rev of Room. Then again, has the steel move, right? Uh, but I think initially it would want to hit me with the ground move. I think it gets a ground move. I'm going to open another uh, window here uh, off to the side and go and check Rev of Room real quick. Give me a sec. Hey, future Aster here. So I kind of messed up. When I tabbed out to go and check to see if Rev of Room got a ground move, I forgot to tab back into the correct window and OBS basically kept picking up a dead window. So as a result, I'm going to have to post -com this portion of the battle until I end up realizing that I was tabbed out of the window and we will eventually return back to the live com. But for this portion of the battle, we're gonna go over what happened here. So at this point, Sean switches out into the tornadoes as I go for a toxic. So we do align a toxic on a valid toxic target here, which is really good because he had three non-valid toxic targets. Uh, here I end up going to our Chaladon, get a stamina boost from the U-turn. Uh, and I'm just going to try to play into this Deoxys uh, with our Chaladon, I believe, or I end up switching out. I gotta try to remember here. Uh, I do go for Dragon Pulse just for damage as the Deoxys reveals that it does actually have 
hazards. It does have spikes. So uh, I end up switching into Weezing once again, as I predict a recover on this turn. And uh, once again, he's going to switch out, go into Tornadus. And I'm going to predict that, and I'm going to go into Raikou now. He sees leftovers, obviously, and Toxic goes after. So he knows that his Tornadus is faster. It should be faster. Uh, ends up going for U-turn. I call this turn, and I go for a Scald on the Treads. Uh, and I get that correct. I get off 56%. And now right here, I'm going to switch out into my Great Tusk because I am a uh, an Assault Vest variant, obviously, as you saw in the Team Builder if you did watch that portion. So I'm going to switch out into Tusk. And... Sean is going to reveal that he has Endeavor, and this is going to drop my Tusk very low, to the point where if this Treads has Steel Beam, and only Steel Beam, but if it has Steel Beam, I'm dead. So I kind of panic here. I kind of go into a little bit of a panic, and I go for a Rapid Spin thinking, well, I got to get rid of this Spike or else it's going to hurt like a lot of my team a little too much, right? So I go for Spin. I should have Earthquaked here. Uh, I didn't. I end up getting Earth Powered and only take 19 because I'm super specially defensive. I end up going for Spin, but I'm still slower than the Booster Treads, and now it's sitting at 35 and it can Endeavor anything on my team still. Worse still, he goes for Substitute, and now he's at 10%, and 10% is actually, like, infinitely worse than 9% or 6%, because Treads takes 3% on Switch In from Rocks. So, having this thing at 10 is really, really bad because it can Switch In it three more times and if it does now it's endeavor is doing like literally 99% to a full health mod so I should have earthquaked immediately that was a huge mistake on my part because uh, now Sean is just going to get off the earth power he's going to knock out my tusk if my tusk was a little bit healthier if the scald had done a little less damage to the treads then tusk could have taken two earth powers there it would have been fine and I could have gotten off the earthquake and eventually killed the treads and been at plus one and still gotten off another hit on something else, either a knockoff on the Deoxys, uh, a knockoff on the Rotom, or an earthquake on Overquill or Rev of Room, or of course uh, an Ice Spinner on Tornadus. So now I'm actually forced into Boulder uh, because Boulder is the only thing that's going to be faster than this because it still has its booster in speed. Uh, you may have seen in the Team Builder, I only have Mighty Cleave, which is 4x resisted. It does not kill treads at all. Uh, and Zen Headbutt. So I'm going to go for Zen Headbutt here after I get my booster in speed. Uh, now this is wasted, unfortunately. I wanted to keep this for later, but he didn't bring the D-Knight, so it's not that big of a deal. It's not like I have to deal with a plus one, plus one D-Knight. So I am just going to go for the Zen here. As you do see, Sean switches in the overquill and he's going to uh, be able to get a crunch off as i go for a swords dance and try to get off as much damage as i can with a mighty cleave uh, i do get off a nice 48 percent goes for crunch knocks me out and now i'm going to go into raikou uh, and i'm just going to go for thunderbolt and knock out the overquill it is in range uh, and now my raikou is at 92 now sean makes an interesting play here and goes into deoxys my raikou is actually built to beat deoxys um with calm mind and terra electric so i was a little bit perplexed but looking at the rest of his team it doesn't look like there's another answer so this telegraphs to me that he actually doesn't have anything for this raikou like he, he can't handle it um so i go for a calm mind here as sean is going to click psychic noise uh which is going to stop my leftovers for the turn heal blocks me and uh i'm just gonna go for terra electric and thunderbolt as deoxys and i'm sure he didn't see this coming he gets back up a spike but now this thing is two hit ko'd so sean kind of panics here and he waits for like two and a half minutes uh trying to decide to make a move uh and eventually the deoxys goes down uh and i'm thinking like okay this game is one right uh i'm i'm sat here thinking he spent a whole two and a half minutes trying to figure out how to deal with this thing and now he basically can't right the rev room is terra water it's going to get annihilated it doesn't have the best special defense so right here i'm like okay i should be good to go and luckily this is actually where i notice that uh my window is tabbed out and we can get back to the live comm so now you're gonna see my reaction of the next turn all right we're back um raikou just knocked out dod I'll have to do post comm for that portion because I thought I was on the right window and I was not. So I think Sean just loses. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. But I think Sean's toast. He's going to go into Torn. Uh, I'm just going to T-bolt this. Uh, I think he's going to probably knock off here if I had to guess. Yeah, there's the knockoff. All right. Not sure that does anything for him. I think I knock you out. Max HP takes min 97 and the rocks are up. So unless this thing is like super spadef or scarfed, okay. That was an option. Scarf Terra Water, huh? Well, our Chalodon looks insane here. So I think I just go Weezing and I just click Flamethrower, right? To prevent the treads from coming in. So long as I don't get 
Parad, I'm fine, right? That should be okay. And Arch can take this thing on. If it takes any hit other than stomping or high horsepower first, I didn't expect Scarf. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real. I did not expect Scarf. So Rotom comes in actually. Rotom's fine here. I don't wanna switch necessarily. I think I just wanna go for another flamethrower. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just wanna go for another flame here to cover his treads. Okay, so Scarf Rev of Room was, was in the back. Okay, I see, I see. Had I switched out my Raikou, I think the game was over, but I think we're still okay. So long as he volts here, I need him to not stay in here, basically. So I get full parried that turn. That would have been the turn to go for, uh, for a volt switch. So he screens, huh? So I could have toxic this. I think my play is still to flamethrower. Despite that, I think that this is the turn he tries to take advantage and go treads. He does not. He goes for hydro pump. I go for flamethrower. Doesn't do anything. I'm gonna toxic now. As hydro pump does 41 because I'm spit F and I do get the toxic off on the rotom. Fantastic. Okay. So now we're gonna pain split. Uh, do we? I could just go our chalet on. I think I still have to keep the treads from coming in. I think I have to stay spamming flamethrower. Then get in Gren and go for a trailblaze, I think is my play. It's a weird 50-50 here. I know Sh Sean's like probably worried about it too. Well, hold on. The odds are in his favor because I'm parried, right? And if I ever were to pain split on the treads, I'd be screwed, essentially he would get up a free sub. So I'm trying to decide what's better. If I pain split here and he goes treads, I think I just lose. Well, he still needs to sub then and then... But he gets back enough HP for flamethrower not to break his... I have to flame again. I think he either volts or hards into treads. Like, I, I don't see a hydro pump angle here. Because it gives me a pain split, it gives me our challenge on, it gives me way too much. Wow, he actually did it. That's crazy. I mean, at this point, pain splitting is fine because his treads doesn't actually get that much back. So I'm going to play off a whiff. He does not whiff. He hits. All right, we're going Gren. Trailblaze on the light screen. This is the play here. Goes for Volt Switch. Okay. All right. So he still has his Rotom alive. Now he cannot bring in treads. I think he always brings in Rev of Room here, but he cannot click high horsepower. That is not a valid click. So I think I can go hard Arch Aladon. And then maybe hard back into Gren? Sean sure is taking his time. All right, here's the Rev of Room. I don't think I can stand. I gotta switch. I gotta switch. If he goes for high horsepower, kudos, good job. But like, there's nothing else I can do. I have to switch out here. So here comes Arch. We see the gunk shot, fantastic. And now I think I double to Greninja and give him as few options as possible. His Rotom will then die. Yeah, I, I double, right? I definitely double. If I switch out first, I swear to God, Sean. Uh, no, uh, what do I do? He's gonna sack Rotom, right? He definitely sacks Rotom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. No, I think Trailblaze is still the play every time. This Treads being alive at 10, man. Oh, he sacked it here. Oh, I didn't expect that. Okay. Cool. So, what now? Well, now we just Ice Punch, right? And play for a Freeze? I think he has to lock in a high horsepower. Goes for parting shot. Interesting. I mean, here I just ice punch again. I think it kills. Ice punch into, let's say, max HP treads. We know it's not max HP, but I'm going to check just in case. Yeah, ice punch still kills. Uh, oh, but it's not protean based. Wait. Uh, okay, it's not calculating protean. Good, good, good. All right, so we just ice punch again. So yeah, he goes Rev of Room. I Ice Punch again. Here, I think I go for SD. Or do I just hit Ice Punch, Ice Punch, Ice Punch, Ice Punch? 
Is that better? How much does high horsepower do to my Gren? 23 right now. So I live three. So if I SD and then start ice punching, it makes no difference, right? It's just that my ice punches are gonna do more. I get off two fully powered ice punches, but I think I always KO this thing with body. Uh, maybe not. Hold on. That's interesting. Do I KO with body press? 21 to 25. So I think I actually do need the damage. I think I actually do need to SD here. Funny enough. So there's the 24. The next one will not kill. And we're just gonna go for ice punch. Okay, that's really good damage. There's the high horsepower. And now we click ice punch again. It should be still be the strongest move here. Yep. He's at 10. Go for high horsepower. I am very bulky Archaladon. Uh, how much does high horsepower do? 47 and then earth power from treads. 50. Ooh. So I need him to low roll a couple. Yeah, I need him to low roll. Oh, that's not good. And that's minus Patak. Yeah, it kills me. It definitely kills me. Yeah. GG, man. Close one. Damn, that's unfortunate. If I had just switched out Raikou, I think I had this game. Uh, also, not having coverage for a scarfed rev of room, like, what am I supposed to do, right? <laughs> yeah. I feel you said it had me palpitating in the chat. Uh, GG's to Sean. Really close game. Uh, I'll take a, a very close 1-0 uh, against him. I think that he has the strongest draft uh, in the entire league. Uh, personally, that's just my opinion. But uh, you can tell me otherwise if you think somebody else does. Uh, like, definitely Habara and, and Rai are up there. But I, I truly believe that Sean has the best draft. Uh, I could totally see him winning this league. I'm trying to win, obviously. But, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's rough. It's rough. Um... I'll try not to lose anymore. Promise. Thanks to, thanks to you guys for watching. Appreciate it. As usual, make sure to subscribe. Uh, go and subscribe to all the coaches, including Sean himself. Uh, in the description down below, all of their links will be there. Leave a like on the video, and I will catch you guys next time. See ya!